first came to Russia, I was always enamored by the Communist Party when I first came to Russia. And I, they, you know, being like, like very famous as being an American and like wanting to be in the Communist Party, being fighting, finding Fedor and, yeah. you know, his TV shows, they took me in right away. They brought me around and I, I was like, I knew I'd been used, um, but I, but I thought, okay, what I'm going to get out of this. So I, I was like, after them, I was with them like over two years. And I wanted them to open some schools free for kids. And I said, look, I'll, I'm going to come. You just hire a couple of teachers. You know, the salaries are so low here. It's not much. Hire a couple of teachers, open these schools in my name. And I'll teach at these schools once a month for free. Don't pay me. I don't want nothing from this. I just want, like, to give it a chance to kids. Mm-hmm. And they promised for two years and not over and over and over again. Um, and they brought me to cheese and wine di- cheese and wine dinners, and I met like the head of the party several times. I met his family. I met like all these big wigs, all these big businessmen, and all this stuff. And they just never followed through. And I, I just realized at some point there was no communist in the communist party. Oh, okay. And so I broke free. So to me, to me, comment. Um, unfortunately, it's kind of funny because uh, on America Top Team, I have some of the. Some of my friends that we're really good friends, but we can tease each other about this. And they're like so anti-communist. I know. Well, I saw a video where you got like jumped by your guys. You were like sleeping on a couch. (laughs) In all fairness, in all fairness, and I'll say it to the fair, they they don't they have no idea what communism is. And 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 that's why I ask, because I can openly admit I have no idea. I don't know what it means. It just it just means the people have the means of production instead of having a business. Like, for example, in the United States, um, you have a business and at this business, you hire all these people. Let's say you have 100 people, you have a big business, you have 100 people. Well, these 100 people do whatever, 40 hours a week of work. You don't pay them for what they make your company, because if you pay them for what they are worth to your company, what they produce for your company, you wouldn't make any profits. So in order to make a profit, you have to pay them less than they, than they do. You have to like, we're still caught, cheat them, cheat them out of not paying them what they're worth in order to make a profit for yourself. So uh, as a common, like, I, I don't, I don't agree with this. I think that, you know, and everyone like uh, capitalists is going to disagree saying, oh, we need business to, you know, produce. But um, I just look at the state of the world, you know, we have global warming, we're, we're running out of fish, we're not a we're running out of clean water. We're having droughts. We're having like all these like ecological problems um, all over the world, mm-hmm. you know, right now. And, 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 you know, we're having refugees coming from like all over the place and not having places because, you know, there's wars and this and that. And I mean, the world's, I mean, pretty unstable. Um, and, you know, this virus has just kind of shown um kind of what's happening, you know, this kind of coronavirus and what happened, like in the United States, you know, people are out of work and people are losing their health insurance. People are, and it's like, this won't happen in a communist society. Co- communism is a, is a, is a, not a political theory. It's a theory. It's a economic theory. It's an economic theory where people share and people are like, okay, well, what if this guy doesn't work as hard? And, you know, he gets, a, mm-hmm. it's like, what do you think a boss is? I mean, what do you think like this people, a banker who loans you money, <laughs> They're not doing anything. They're just getting money for nothing. This boss that, you know, like they tell it, uh, whatever, um, these guys that own uh, Amazon and, mm-hmm. and you lost know, guys, they're going to the say, but I mean, they're literally like worth like what I just read, $220 billion or something or, or Elos or whatever, Elon, whatever. Yeah, Elon Musk. It's like $220 million, billion dollars? Like who, who's wor- who does that much work where they can mm-hmm. like be worth this much? You know, it's, it's crazy. So, um, it's just a system where people, there's no, I mean, when I talk to people here in Russia, for example, the old that lived in the USSR and live now and live now. So they're like my age or older. They, they miss, they all miss the USSR because granted some freedom, they didn't have all the freedoms, but that, that isn't communism. Communism doesn't take you over That's, that's something totally different. Communism meant everybody had a home. Everybody had transportation. Everybody, there was no homelessness. Mm-hmm. Um, if you lost your job because of something, they rehired you or retrained you to do a different job. Every hand had free education, secondary education. Nobody went hungry. Um, you know, these, and, and because you didn't have to worry about those things, there was a sense of 
like community and that's what they miss the most it's not sure. that they miss so much um you know, of course they miss like the security but what they miss they everybody tells me the same thing they miss having this you know instead of like trying to fight my neighbor for um getting this job or find my neighbor to yeah. get this apartment or find my neighbor for this like there was a sense of community because we didn't have to worry about these things we just we had time and we had a lot of spare time not like i had to work two jobs and three jobs and all this other yeah. stuff we, we were able to like enjoy ourselves enjoy our families and put our family and our community first and how often is that like i know i'm kind of uh, like man and all over the place but no, in, in america Helpful. Like uh, I ask you, hey, um, oh, tell me about your, oh, you have a son, hold he? Oh, he's 20. Let me tell you about it. Oh, he's got this, he finished number one in his class. He's got this great job. He's making a lot of money already. Da, 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 like that. That's what you hear. That's typical. And that's, that's normal, mm -hmm. right? You don't hear, oh, my son, you know what? He's such a great kid. Like he, he's got a loving heart. He, he's, he's really happy. Back. He's, yeah, <laughs> he's happy. He's happy. Yeah. yeah. Like, that's exactly right. He's high. He's happy. Like you don't hear that. Yeah. You hear you hear his success, his monetary, his like his what what he's done, his, right. his successes, his victories, something like that. Oh, my son. I know. Like, it's funny how we associate achievements with happiness or success, and they, they're not. You know, it's it's not it's, it's the really same. Not. Yeah. That's right. You did, you hit it on the head. I wish you. I wish, that's thank you for saying that. That's uh, happiness. Like, is he happy? He's mm -hmm. happy, you know. That's that's not what it, nobody ever says. Oh, he's happy. Like how's your kid? Oh, he's happy. Like nobody, yeah. you don't hear that, and that's yeah. and that's sad. And you know, I heard in the I, I heard this also, and it made made me think a lot. Is like you know, before maybe fifty years ago, six years ago, and everyone's talking about the next generation. Oh, oh man, you're looking for your kids are looking. Oh my God, there's so many new inventions coming out. Mm -hmm. Oh, what's the world going to come up with this time? It's like like you know, new places to explore, like going into space, mm -hmm. like all, like there's so much like uh, optimism about the future, like just so much what's out there. Oh yeah. my God, we got this. You know, now it's, there's, it's dead. There's no optimism. It's you're scared of what's yeah. happening next. Oh, not only this virus, but like, oh, well, we're going to another war. Oh, are we mm -hmm. going to have this problem? Oh, is there going to be fresh water? Oh, the, like global warming oh like you know the like the economy is yeah. really bad which is like we're too expensive to live these days um are we going to have affordable health insurance or social security still mm -hmm. going to be around that's that's the like the reality like yeah. we're scared of the future we're not optimistic anymore we're mm -hmm. scared of the future and hoping that it can survive in that to me that's uh that's capitalism I mean, that's you know i don't want to get on a political tyrant here but that's sure. the opposite of what I'm talking about. Like guys that, you know, under communism where you, you produce for need, you don't produce for profit. And that's, that's the bottom line. You, so you don't need to cut down 5 trillion trees or fish the yeah. ocean, whatever, or how pollute the environment so much because mm -hmm. you produce for what people need, not for like all these items to make a profit. How many, how many they said for every, in America, for every um, five houses, uh, that are empty like with nobody in it there's one homeless person so like it's five crazy. to one like crazy yeah. like you could put all you could put all the homeless people in a house house and yeah. there'd still be 80 percent of all the places uh still empty so it's crazy <laughs>